teachers have a new enemy in the war on cheating, and you might be part of it. I'm Scott Schober, and welcome to your two-minute cybersecurity briefing. Back in the days before the internet, ethically challenged students could make a quick buck by selling copy test questions to other students who still needed to take the test. Now, students are trading copy tests on the internet using social media instead of in the hallways. In the old days, most tests were not standardized, so students in one district might take a totally different test than students just a few miles away. The few standardized tests, such as the ACT and SAT, were given to almost all students within just a few days. If a student who took the test early shares information about the contents and materials it covers, students who take the test later have an unfair advantage. I recently stopped by CT Style Morning Show to talk cybersecurity and how to catch but, uh, cheating students using a covert device. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a small covert cell phone detector. So as mobile phones are everywhere, there are certain areas that they're not allowed in prisons, in churches, concert halls, government facilities, schools. schools, good point. And what this does is allow you to catch somebody that's using their phone. In a school's case, they use phones for catching cheating students. So Which a professor we've never could, done, could right? do that. They not. put it in their pocket simply and it'll vibrate when it gets close to the cell phone activity. Wow, and then you the are caught red-handed. Yes. <laughs> Back in March, the test publishing company Pearson came under fire for deleting a New Jersey student's tweet regarding a question on a Common Core test. Pearson also informed the New Jersey Department of Education, which then contacted the superintendent asking school staff to discipline the student. Parents and Common Core critics blasted the test publisher and the New Jersey Department of Education, accusing them of spying on students and invading their privacy. Even though a cell phone was not involved in this particular incident, they do pose a significant threat to testing integrity. Students use them to cheat by looking up answers, and most smartphones come with a social media app built right in. A few snaps with a smartphone camera can compromise the entire test. Berkeley Varitronic System offers tools educators can use to detect and locate cell phones being used in the classroom or before they even get that far. Contact us for more information about maintaining the integrity of your testing environment. 